a new and exciting agents framework called Crew AI. I started playing with this and I wanted to share it with you guys because I think it is very powerful and I love a few things that these guys are doing. This, uh, this seems to be like a pretty new project, not as established as Autogen, but still uh, I, they have a few very interesting ideas and improvements uh, that differ them from Autogen. The project is called Crew AI. It's very simple to install. We will sh I'll show you in a moment. What I loved about the project, except for the, the performance, which we'll cover later, is a few smart things that they have been doing. So first of all, they have the, the documentation wiki, which is straightforward, but they also have this GPT agent, which specializes in um, Crew AI. So this is called the Crew AI Assistant, and you can pretty much ask it anything regarding Crew AI. I assume that they have the readme and the documentation added as a, a file, as a knowledge base. So you can ask it pretty much anything that you would like. So how can I install Crew AI? You can ask it how to install Crew AI and it just responds to you. So basically it just allows you, it just reads the repository and it's some sort of a knowledge base that gives you an idea regarding how to operate this repo. So pip install Crew AI, pretty straightforward. Before I show you uh, the performance, I've been testing it with two different use cases. Let's, uh, cover, let's uncover the key features. So first of all, Crew AI is a role-based agent design. It customizes agents with specific roles, goals, and tools, like Autogen. Uh, it is an autonomous inter-agent delegation. Agents can autonomously delegate tasks and inquire amongst themselves, enhancing problem-solving efficiency. They have a flexible task management. They define, ta they define tasks with customizable tools and assign them to agents dynamically and it is process driven. Currently they only support a sequential uh, task ex execution, but they, uh, they say that they are going to implement more complex processes later on. They have a few examples in the repository and they can also work with uh, Olama on local and uh, local uh, LLMs. Let me show you um, before we dive into this, let me show you what they said regarding the difference from Autogen. So you can see the examples here. And I think it was... They have a very extensive documentation, which is great. I'm trying to... Uh, I'm trying to recall where I saw the difference. This is the guy who built the repository. Where did I see the difference from? Okay, here, here it is. So how Crew AI compares. So while Autogen excels in creating conversational agents capable of working together, it lacks an inherent concept of process. So in Autogen, orchestrating agents interactions requires additional programming, which can become complex as the scale of the task grows. And ChatDev introduced the idea of processes into the realm of AI agents, but its implementation is quite rigid. Customizations in ChatDev are limited and not geared towards production environments. So the goal or the advantage that they claim that Crew AI has is, Crew AI is built with production in mind. It offers the flexibility of Autogen conversational agents and the structured process approach of chat dev, but without the, rigi the rigidity. The processes are designed to be dynamic and adaptable, fitting seamlessly into both development and production workflows. Okay, this is cool. Now let's dive into the code. So basically I just, um, you can just clone the repository or just build a pip install and then you create the main file. I'm going to revoke the key afterwards. And here what you do, it's similar to the concept of, of Autogen. 
Um, you basically define agents. So you give, I, I decided the task that I want to do is write cold emails for um, promoting a video editing solution. So you define the agents, you give the role copywriter, you give the goal of the agent and you give the backstory. So like context, what is good? And then you decide if you want to, you, you decide which LLM you want to use. If you want to allow, delega to allow delegation. And then, so I de define the copywriter, then I define the critique, which is another type of, like another name of an agent. His goal is to critique the emails, pretending to be a potential customer, a busy CMO of a direct to consumer company. So what I want to do, I wanted to use this for a use case that I have. And as you guys know or don't know, I have a solution that automates generation of ads for Facebook, TikTok, etc. So I'm currently testing out sending cold mass email. And I thought of building cold emails with the help of Google AI. So we have the copywriter and we have the critique, which in this case is the typical persona that I'm targeting, which is a CMO. So we wrote the backstory. You're a busy CMO of a direct-to-consumer company and you're looking for a video editing solution to help you create more video ads for your products, but you hate getting cold emails and don't trust them. Now, after we define the agents and we can define as many agents that we would like in Crew AI, we define the tasks and this is a like they said in the documentation, it, it's a process driven. So, and it's sequential. So you need to define the first task and then you define the second task and so on, and like the third task, etc. So we create a task for the agent. So the first task is we wrote the description, write a short, write free short cold emails promoting a video editing solution for direct to consumer brands that spend at least 3K per, per day on Facebook ads. And then I assigned this task to the copywriter agent. And the second task was provide feedback on the emails written by copywriter and, and I assign this to critique. Then we basically create the crew, which is similar to a group chat in uh, Autogen. So crew agencies, copywriter and critique, their task is task one and task uh, two. And the process is sequential. At the moment, all processes are sequential. As they say here in the comment, sequential process will have tasks executed one after each other. And the outcome of the previous one is passed as an extra content into the next. So after we are going to get the called email alternatives written by the copywriter, they will, they will be moved on to the second task, uh, which is covered by critique. And then we kick off by result. And I already did this and let's cover the results. I already do, did two iterations actually. So the first iteration was, let's see if I have it. Yeah, so the first iteration was actually a use case that they provide in which you build a, a researcher. So you have the researcher and you have the writer. So the task that they provide and I used it as a, the, like the first test drive was investigate the latest AI trends. So it is building, in this case, it built the new uh, agent. The agent asked itself, do I need to use a, a new tool? Because they have different tools that you can leverage. You can read more about this in the documentation and I will cover this in new videos. And then it takes actions. It wrote the final answer and then it writes finish chain and you have the task output. This is the output, uh, like he covers the trends of, a, of the, it covers several AI trends in the industry. And this is a move to the, to the writer, working agent writer. He is starting the task of writing a blog post on AI advancements. And this is the final answer. Title, riding the wave, exploring the latest AI advancements. advancements. Introduction. AI and automation, AI and healthcare, AI and data analysis, etc. Now let's move on to what I did. So 
here I had a few hiccups because I did I, I replaced the names of agents but I didn't replace them correctly and here we started so working agent copywriter starting task write free short cold email promoting a video editing solution for direct to consumer brands that spend at least 3k per day on Facebook ads entering new agent execution chain do I need to use a tool he says no and then he writes the final answer Unleash your brand's potential, edit videos like a pro. Hey there, I understand you're spending a significant amount on Facebook ads, blah, blah, blah. I won't bore you with this uh, text, but they, it, it, it has written three different alternatives as requested. And then you see finished chain, the task asked output. This is basically what he wrote. And this is moved on to the second task, which is uh, handled by the critique. So working agent critique, starting task, provide feedback on the emails written by copywriter. So do I need to use a tool? No. Now let's see the final answer. Unleash, so you can see here the feedback. So this was like the first email and the feedback. The email begins on a constructive note by understanding the recipient's need for a Facebook as the connection to video and content and its impact on ROI is strong, is a strong selling point. Uh, but could use a more personalization to the recipient's business. The use of, of less chat in the call to action is casual and friendly, but maybe too informal for a professional setting. And it suggests an alternative. The next one, the email presents the feedback. The email presents a clear benefit, enhancing our performance. However, the phrase, we've noticed that you've heavily invested in Facebook ads could come off as intrusive or presumptuous. I don't even know how to pronounce this word but you get it. Instead, you could use, we understand the importance of Facebook advertising for business like yours. And the call to action is clear and straightforward, but could be more compelling and it uh, offers an alternative. And then it basically um, finished, finishes the chain and we get the task output. And that's it, that's it. It uh, basically prints out the result. So this was like the, the second test that I did for Crew AI, it's not enough to determine whether or not it's uh, it's valuable. But I like a few things that this project is doing. First of all, I really love the way that they utilize and build a specific GPT that is going to be an expert in anything that is related to this repository. And I like the the way that the answers are structured, and I kind of feel that this was probably simpler to set up um, than Autogen, but you know, um, complexity, the complexity of Autogen is, is a derivative of the fact that they offer so many different types of agents and it's, it's a bit more sophisticated. Still, when I've been using Autogen, I didn't find uh, use cases, uh, use cases I really felt that it solved my issues and I'm, I'm starting to think after using this, although it was just for like a few minutes, is that maybe it's because like they said, Autogen is not so process driven. It kind of feels like all over the show. And maybe if we like build a process like step by step and break it down to several tasks, we're going to get better output also in Autogen, uh, but for sure, this is like the framework or the, uh, the way that they think it's best to conduct the, the use of agents. So I like this breakdown into different tasks. I like the fact that it's sequential, although um, life isn't sequential and business process are not sequential. So, and they also claim that later on, they will change this to a more complex type of, of uh, building and solving stuff. But as a test drive, I'm pretty excited about this new tool and I'm going definitely going to investigate this in the next few days and see, I mean, how can we leverage this? Again, Crew AI, this is the name of the repository. I'll, I will share this in the show notes. Uh, you can also come here and just 
click this button to discuss with the GPT. So I don't see like a real point in showing you how to install this because this is really straightforward. And I guess that's it for today, guys. If you have any questions, obviously leave them in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time and forgot the slogan. So until next time, keep on automating.